Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, I will solve a data transformation challenge. So let's get start. We have a data here and this data consists of three things. Uh, this is in column A and it consists of uh, names, designations and the organization names. So if you closely look at this data, what we are required here is we want the designation in a separate column and the organization name in a separate column. Now, we will see a couple of options available in Excel uh, as well. And if you want to give your solution and if you are watching this video on YouTube, LinkedIn or Facebook, you can comment below. So let me start with a very basic concept. So when you get this kind of a data and you want to do a transformation, in terms of separating different fields in separate columns, what you uh, first identify is basically a common pattern. So if you closely look at the names, so after every name, there is a comma, right? And we can um, apply a traditional formula or dynamic array formula or even through power query or if you can think of flash fill text to columns. So we can do that easily because we have a similar pattern for uh, separating the names in from this column right because uh, there is a comma there but when it comes to uh, when we read this data which is very very complex and if we look at the designation and organization names so if we see the first look at the example like uh, Shahid Hassan Sheikh who is the partner at Lahore carpets right so with Shahid Hassan Sheikh, there is just one designation written, but sometimes like uh, Sheikh Imranul Haq, MD and CEO PSO, right? And if we go further, so we can see here like Khurram Shaukat, who is the head of depth and syndications at HBL, right? And we have another name like Dr. Salman Shah, who is the former caretaker finance minister. So designation is there, but organization name is not there. So we need the data look like this. So there is no such one specific pattern which we can follow and create our own logic to separate the designation and organization names. Something like if you see uh, in raw number 11, Mr. Asim Siddiqui, partner EY4 Roads, country service line leader, transaction advisory services. So organization name is coming in the middle whereas in the other names the organization it at the last right if we look at the another entry at another entry yasser rashid so we can see uh, ex ceo ex banker philanthropist entrepreneur we want a separate like this and the organization name stylo in a separate column so there is a much bit of complexity uh, here and you can think of like you start building up logic and you are not able to identify a common pattern in, in mind so what i will do is i will take the first designation for saad amanullah khan founder and ceo and i will select this entire column and i can press the shortcut key Control e for the flash fill or i can go to the data tab where i can uh, click on this flash fill icon so when I click on flash fill, uh, up to some extent flash fill was able to extract some designations, but not 100% accurate, which I want to make you understand that if you have a large data set, because in this video tutorial, tutorial, we have some limited number of rows, but I mean, I mean, you can think of like in your organization, there are 10,000 of employees and, and you will not check raw by raw that a flash fill has uh, made it very accurate or not right so the limitation of flash fill is that when the data is very much complex you need to give more manual patterns to it right so you need to check again like uh, asan malik ceo pakistan business council so we don't want pakistan business so what i can do i can remove here press enter and it will revise again so it's, once i give more patterns to the flash fill it will uh, analyze and, and provide uh, the data for the other rows as well and updates. Uh, let's say we, I mean, as an Excel user, you can think of dynamic array formulas or even Power Query if you are a very good user of it. But uh, because you don't have any common thing as in pattern and you find it a bit complex to separate the designations in the organization's names. So let's save the time and 
have more accuracy of it so what we will do we will copy this entire data and we will uh, solve this particular challenge uh, on two different platforms the first one is uh, chat gpt which is uh, very much common now so i will be using 3.5 uh, chat gpt version and also in microsoft edge browser we will be using bing okay as a uh, co-pilot you can see uh, on my screen chat gpt 3.5 okay if you want to use chat gpt4 it comes with a monthly subscription of 20 dollars per month okay and the good thing about chat gpt4 is that uh, you can upload the file as well once you have a large data set so you will not copy and paste here uh, but you can upload the file and give the instructions to the gpt and it will uh, definitely solve it for you but i'm using the free version here uh, which is gpt 3.5 so what i will do is i will write a prompt here for the chat gpt to solve it for me so let's say based on the data give me designation and organization separately in a table okay so i will use this prompt Go to my data i will select the data press ctrl c and now i will paste that data here okay and i will press the enter key now let's see how chat gpt solve it for us so see chat gpt is able to basically separate the names the designations and as well as the organization names but it is still not 100 percent accurate but you can think of like more than 90 95 percent of accuracy i mean uh, you can go through uh, a bit of uh, random sampling check that if uh, the outputs are very accurate but it is it is far better than flash fill or any other method uh, you use in excel so based on ai tool chat gpt uh, is able to solve this i mean within seconds so that that's the great thing about uh, ai okay and you can see uh, visibly the designation and organization names as a separate column now once it has solved it for you you can just um, i mean copy and paste it into in, again into excel uh, and that's it all right so i am using microsoft edge web browser and i will click on this co-pilot icon which is on top right side okay and what i will be telling here you have three tabs available on top so you have a chat compose and insights okay so if i go to compose you can uh, give a prompt and uh, you can set the tone you can tell them to write a paragraph or for you or for email or make some ideas or blog post uh, you can select the length and then generate the draft so that's awesome and if i will go to the chat and i will select more balance here you have other options like more creative more precise and what i will do is i will say the similar thing which i told to the chat gpt okay so i will write the prompt here below based on the below data give me designation and organization name in a separate table and i will copy that data from excel control c go to the web browser control v and let's press the enter key Now it started producing the outputs as you can see uh, it's successfully able to produce uh, a names designation and organization name as a separate column so that's a cool tool again available as a co-pilot in microsoft edge web browser awesome right so again the accuracy you can expect uh, with respect to uh, not the hundred percent but i mean more than 90 95 percent of accuracy you can copy this your solution and then paste it in in inside the excel okay another option which is available here is uh, if you are an excel 365 user so you will find uh, another add-in which is uh, numerous.ai so when you click on it you have to log in i have already logged in from my email address and if you you want to use chat gpt inside your spreadsheet because uh, we were you we were going to the web browser and solving the problem there but if you want to solve it within the excel 
so you can use this tool and there are certain examples given here so you can write a prompt there are user defined functions available and you can define the prompt to solve your issues right so this particular tool comes with uh, a seven day free trial uh, but you can uh, if you like this tool so you can purchase either on monthly or yearly subscription based uh, pricing okay